Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, you're the Ultimate, and welcome to episode 147 of Let's Platinum Dung Ropper 2 Goodbye Despair. Alright, spend some more time with Fuyuhiko. Okay, so we're gonna give him Antique Doll again. What'd you say? Are you seriously okay with that? I mean, do you have any idea what this thing is worth? Man, I don't know what to say. I never thought I'd get something so amazing in a place like this. Huh. Hajime, I'll never forget this favor. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Is there any woman who's important to you? W what kind of question is that? It's fine. Do you have one or not? Um, honestly, I've never seriously thought about it. Huh. <laughs> You're such a kid. If you did have one, I was going to tell you to take good care of her. But I guess it's a bit too soon for you. Jeez. But when do you have? Uh, but when you do have one someday, make sure you take good care of her. Don't be like me. I, I've lost two important women. Oh yeah, Peko commit. Peko's committed her crime because his little sister was killed. Huh? Well, there. Don't feel sorry for me. It's not like I wanted to make this awkward. <laughs> but if my sister were still alive, I'd really want you guys to meet her. You'd probably be shocked. If you put it like that, she must have been one hell of a sister. You. Do you know what my sister's ultimate talent was? She was the ultimate little sister. Isn't that funny? The ultimate little sister? How is she an awesome little sister? It's hard to put it into words exactly. Anyway, she was definitely an amazing sister. She was always making a fool out of me, but it was always cute when she'd need my help. Plus, if she cooked fried noodles during the temple festival, a huge line would form outside the temple. <laughs> And she got an insane number of contracts from handheld companies, you know? She was self-centered, selfish, extremely arrogant. But even so, she had this subtle way of making people do what she wanted. So She definitely deserves to be called the ultimate Yakuza. Yakuza. Within the clan, she was even called the reincarnation of my uncle, who was the most powerful of the Kuzuryus. The most powerful of the Kuzuryus? I'd like to know more about that too. Well... It's before my time, so I don't really know the details, but apparently he was known as the Overlord of the South. They say his final confrontation with the detective who was pursuing him nearly destroyed the world. <laughs> well, that's obviously just a rumor. Of course it's just a rumor, that'd be outrageous if it wasn't. I... Well, anyway, she was a really annoying little sister who pissed me off. But even so, she was the only little sister I ever had. Even when a faction within the Kuzuryu clan wanted to make her our next leader. She said this. I don't want to lead the clan. The reason I'm so amazing is because I'm your sister. <laughs> <laughs> she said that even though she was better than me at everything. To you, your sister must have truly been the ultimate little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Jeez. But still, when she said that to me, I couldn't accept it. All I could do was yell at her and say, You lead, I can live by myself. I... Just... How small was I? Fuhiko. What am I even- why am I even talking to you about this? Huh? It's probably, you know, that harmless looking face of yours. Is that a compliment or an insult? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway. Well anyway, sorry about that. I guess I got all sentimental and crap after all. I really- I really don't mind. If you think I look like someone who's easy to talk to, then I'll listen to you as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like hot crap, you virgin. I see, so you're not. Sh shut up! Don't talk back to me so calmly. Even though it's happening gradually, I know Fuyuhiko is slowly opening up to me. Once again, I feel like I was able to understand Fuyuhiko a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, so his little sister was the ultimate little sister. That's a weird talent to have. Okay, how did we go? So my hero feels pretty good. Oh, yeah! We got it! Nice, another jab, jab up button. Getting really lucky with those. Alright. So let's see, we still need six more seashells by the seashore. Um, this is getting there, but I still need jab crystals and hammers. And this one need golden eggs, woods and saws. All right, so the woods, like I'm missing two nails. Saw, missing seven beast's bones. And I need three golden eggs. Okay, so let's try, this is probably the more important one here. So I need five clays. Clay, okay, clay I can make. Clay is good. So two Jabba alloys. So I need Jabba crystals and hammers. And what do I need for the Golian? Seashells. Jabba crystals, hammers, and seashells. Okay, so Ibuki is down, but I don't want to use the hot pot just yet. I'll give her 
Hmm. Let's make a real easy one. Let's make this here. See if that's enough for Jabba salad. Okay, nice. We got it good. I completely forgot what I needed again. <laughs> uh, seashells, um, Jabba crystals and hammers. Okay, so hammer is here. Okay, good, good, good. So everyone who's on red, so you're good. Actually, I'll put Nagito in there as well and Gundam. You're good. Let's put you there. And I still need seashells, right? Yeah. Seashells is here or yeah, let's do that. Okay, I think that will do. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. And you know what? I may as well use the make things a little cleaner broom robo. There we go. And I'll switch. Yeah, I'll keep them both. I'll keep them both on. All right, let's see. So seashells. I think I need six seashells. And I need two Jabba crystals and four hammers. Let's see. Okay, seashells are almost good. Jabba crystals are really good. Hammers are good. Seashells. Yeah, so close. Just needed some more, there, some more seashells. But Jabba crystals went really well. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Nice. That was worth it. Okay, and I think this is the last one with Fuyuhiko. Getting so close. I was thinking in the first playthrough it would take 14 episodes, so it might take a little bit more. We'll see. Um, okay, yep, Antique Doll. Actually, this Are might be the second kidding? one. Second last one, I'm not sure. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, what's the first thing you want to do when you get out of here? Hmm, let's see. First, I want to find a safe place to relax and get some decent sleep. Huh. That sounds great to me. Jeez, compared to this place, I'd rather stay at a prison. That's an odd comparison. At least this place has soft beds, a beautiful ocean, and entertainment. Heh, <laughs> you're right. What about you? What are you going to do? I... Me? First, I'm going to visit my sister, sister's grave. I also need to hold a funeral for Pekka, even though there's nothing left of her. And for Mahiro as well. I see. You're right. Hey, Hajime. I think you're pretty awesome, you know? When it comes to me and the others, at least we know where our confidence is coming from. But you... That part of you is missing. But despite that, you don't let it get to you. You've kept a cool head throughout all this so far. You're giving me way too much credit. I'm just trying to enjoy everything the best I can. That's what I'm talking about. It's amazing enough that you're even able to endure all this. Someone like me. I blindly rushed into revenge without thinking things through, with no concern for anything else. And in the end, I can't take back the consequence of that the consequences of that decision. Hey! But after seeing you and the others keep it together, I feel like I'm starting to see what I need to be focusing on right now. We will definitely survive and escape from here. And I'll do anything to make that happen. Damn it. If not, Peko, Mahiro, everyone's death will go to waste. And that's when I realized. This wasn't the same Fuyuhiko Kuzurio I met when we first arrived at this island. This is a man who has overcome great hardships. What can I do from now on? I still don't know, but I do know what I can say right now. Fuyuhiko, let's definitely escape this island, okay? And when we do, would it be alright if we visited their graves together? Uh huh? Huh? Huh. Yeah. I'm sure that would make them happy. Hey, bastard! And Hajime, that part of you may be missing, but I think there's still something there. Because I was able to talk to you like this, and I was able to reflect on my past. And from there, I'm able to move forward. Huh. That's it. Maybe your talent is that you're the ultimate counselor. <laughs> what the heck? I don't want a talent like that. That sounds like it'd be stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's totally perfect for you. Our somber conversation took an, took an unexpected light-hearted turn, and we laughed harder than we had in a while. Alright, nice. One more. Go, 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 go. Dun, dun, dun. Day 18. All right. Sonia. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. We need four seashells, and we're done. And I believe... One, two... And five clays. One, two, three, four, five, and now we just need two nails. So where do we get nails from? Get nails from there. Is that it? Is that the only place you can get nails? 
Oh, we can get it from here too. Okay. Uh, okay, most people are out of energy, so we can use the Jabba Hopper. We've got two. Okay, so nails. So only we only need two nails. So let's just put three people there. Uh, what else do we need? Seashells. Seashells, that should be good. And then we'll get you girls to search for... There's a golden egg, this one. Just gonna get all the girls in here. <laughs> On the move farm. Okay, so go over it one more time. Four seashells is all we need. And two nails. Four seashells, two nails. And then the rest I can make, right? Uh, wood. Okay, we need more, more nails than just two. That should be alright. What was the other thing? Saw, right? Saw, dude. And silver and beast bone. Uh, silver and beast bone. Alright, we'll have to get that later. Let's just put you here, you here, and you here. And you here as well. Probably won't be able to get the golden egg this time, but let's just try it like that. <laughs> okay, so nails. Uh, and seashells. So at the end of the day we need four seashells and two nails. Let's try. Here we go. Seashell is... Nail is good. Seashell. Yes, we're good. Okay, we didn't get the, the golden egg, but the rest is really good. Gold, iron, silver. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. It seems pretty good. Okay, last one with Fear Hiko. Let's talk. Okay, getting there, getting there, getting there. Go, 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 go. Like I said, I, I do like this mode. It's just, it does take a long time. Even if you know what you're doing, it takes a long time. I so think for some levels as well. Antique doll is done, so we need to give him Stardust. What'd you say? Okay. Huh. Hey. Hey, Ajumi. There's something I need to talk to you about. Come here. He seems more serious than usual. What's going on? I followed Fuyuhiko until we arrived at his cottage. Damn right. Yo, wait there. I got something from the supermarket. <laughs> oh, here it is. He slammed a 60 ounce bottle and a glass right in front of me. Is this alcohol? Nah, it's just water. Huh? Listen up. Underage drinking is not allowed under any circumstances. <laughs> Let me tell you, the smell's enough to make me pass out. I advise you not to go within 300 feet of the stuff. Don't be absurd. <laughs> Regardless, it just wouldn't feel right with only a plastic bottle. Come on, take it. I'll take the glass, but I have no idea what the heck is going on. Um, this is probably... Is this? So, Brotherhood Cup, Tasting or Exchanging Vows? It's Brotherhood Cup. I'm just supposed to know that, I guess. Could you be talking about a Brotherhood Cup? Huh? What? You, you don't want to? No, it's nothing like that. I just honestly never thought anything like this would ever happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Don't think about it too much. This isn't about making us real brothers or anything. Hey. This is a promise to return alive. Together. I will never die. I mean, I've already died once. And Pekka already saved that life, after all. <laughs> but you look the type who dies easily, you know? So I thought it'd be good if we made a promise like this. Hey, don't say something so ominous. Shut up! That's why I'm saying that I'll give you half of my life. You. I mean, you. Well, You're yeah. You're my very first friend. Even now, I'm still worried about whether I deserve to leave the clan. But I feel that might change if I get out of here alive. So... Hajime, you better not die, either. Fiyahiko, you... If you're unsure, then live. And live on. Search persistently, and keep looking for it. And then, you should... You should be able to find it. Yeah, you're right. I'll definitely try to find it too. I accepted the cup and swallowed the water in one gulp. Fuyuga did the same and suddenly smashed the cup afterward. <laughs> Some say shattering the cup is a bad omen, but I prefer it this way. I mean, if you break something, that means it can't be broken ever again. Hey. Oh, that's right. Do you want to be my underling when we get out of here? You mean like a little brother? That doesn't really feel right. Jeez. Fine. Pathetic. Then you can just be my bro. Damn right! Well anyway, we gotta give it all, our all and think of a way to get out of here. We each took a piece of the broken cup and put it in our pocket. 
I can feel a strong bond with your ego. As long as I have this bond, I will never give up. That's what I believe. <laughs> we took a piece of the broken glass and put it in our pocket. And then we forgot about it and cut ourselves <laughs> on our hand constantly. Man, why do I still carry this thing around? <laughs> uh, I return to my room. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. What day is it? 19. Okay, two more days until holiday. Okay, Buki's feeling pretty good. Yes, Spirit Bomb. Okay, not too bad. Actually, Spirit Bomb is terrible. It's the one... Yeah, resource consciousness. Okay, uh, let's see. So do I have enough? I finally have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got my 4D shopping basket. Perfect. And now the only thing I need to make is this. I need three golden eggs, wood, and saw. So I think I can make... Where's wood? There. Okay, so I need ten nails to make wood. And I still need a silver and five beast bones. So I guess that's kind of what I've got to go for right now. How about Jabba Hot Pot? Oh, wow. Easy. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll make one more. Okay. How am I going for these? I have a lot of shiny stones. Okay. So Jabba Hot Pot is good. Uh, let me just make sure. So I've made everything I need. I need golden eggs, woods, and saw. So nails. Nails, beast bones, silver. Nails, so let's get a whole bunch of nails, like here. Beast bone. Silver, all right, so like that. And then we'll change you guys to maybe this one. See if I can get the golden egg. Okay, so basically I need three golden eggs, which is gonna be very difficult to get, but we're gonna try. And cleaning? Yeah, cleaning is good. Okay, let's try. Golden egg, golden egg. Nails. Okay, six nails. Could do with a few more nails. I don't think I'm happy with that one. I'm gonna do that one again, because I'm not happy with that. Really want to get those golden eggs. Dun, 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 dun. Or at least more nails. Three sacred treasures, six nails. Uh, okay, 12 nails is really good. Three sacred treasures is really good. Yeah, I'll go with that. Beast bones. That's pretty good. Okay, so I finished Food Eco, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go to Peko then. She's my next one. This is kind of in the order of like what, who I find the most interesting and stuff like that. Not based on like what they say, but just I guess my favorite characters. So you could However. kind of consider it my favorite character list. I might lose my edge by staying here. Perhaps running along the beach would provide sufficient training. Then... All right, you run too. Leg strength is crucial for all things and there is never a downside to training. Except for pain. <laughs> I spent time today running countless laps along the beach with Peko. I think Peko and I grew a little closer. Okay, so let's give Peko a present. She has uh, five different presents that she likes, so I'm gonna try and give her one of each. The apron dress, a dress that resembles a maid's uniform. When you wear this, it might seem like you won't be able to defy your master, but in actuality, you'll be the one in control. Ah, that's why she likes it, okay, cool. What? what? You're giving this to me? Hajime, you... I will never forget this favor for the rest of my life. I can't really do her voice, by the way. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey, uh, Peko, do you like Kendo? Yes. It, this conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. S sort of? However. Is there something wrong with that? N no, I, I was just wondering. Peko's stare is really intense. It might be best if I change the subject. Um, let's see, a topic that would probably... The topic that probably won't offend her too much. Ah, I know. Peko, what level are you? Could it be? Are you talking about my kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? No. I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect, cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. And so... That is my reason for existing. To achieve that... No, to achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. 
I see. Pekka isn't just a typical kendo athlete. She is. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such a foolish, foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. What? Really cool? You say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, thank you. N never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she, blush is she blushing? However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? Yes. There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. Why? But all animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. Uh, I see. That's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the Four Dark Davis of Destruction, <laughs> they might not get scared of me and run away. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hey. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you'd like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Pekko walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. Based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and Pekko. Next time, I might be able to talk to her normally. Alright, fantastic. Got through that one. Uh, Alright, I'm probably going to have to stop here instead of going for this next event or next like collection. Okay, oh, we have to hand in our assignment. Let me just see something. So, wood. Okay, so I got enough for 10 woods. I'm actually just going to make them. And saws. Just need one silver. One silver and three golden eggs. Nice. Okay, let's do it. Yay! Okay, you did very well. Here are some tickets. You received eight trip tickets. Next goal is... Oh, okay. I did not do this one on practice. Imperial I shall feast. Golf this world. <laughs> How foolish! You shall regret ever awakening me. Okay, I didn't do this one on my practice, but yes, do you have a hot pot. But I am confident that we can get it. So let's have a quick peek. Uh, special beast meat, golden egg, fresh sashimi. Oh my goodness, maybe not. I did. I've not been doing that. Uh, okay, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, maybe we can do this. I have to think about this one. I really want to do this first because I need to get that cleaning efficiency up. Hopefully we'll have enough to, to get all that done. Yeah, we're off to a good start anyway. All right, I will think about this next time. For now, and thank you all for watching episode 147 of Let's Platinum Dongaromper 2, Goodbye Despair. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.